Aces. Why are you doing this to me? Your exclusive feature, namely PBO FMAX Enhancer, ruined my day. I literally spent a dozen of hours benchmarking two Ryzen 5000 powered PCs from my next video, only to find out your miraculous enhancer switch was tanking performance the whole time. Tell me, dear viewer, what is your impression when reading this description in their BIOS? If enabled, potentially improves the peak frequencies, Fmax, during single thread workloads. Does it sound like to you this feature could possibly have a negative performance impact both on multi-core as well as single-core workloads? Not at all? Then watch this! The bar charts show how much of a negative impact PBO Fmax Enhancer had in selected synthetic benchmarks. All other settings were identical. If you want to know what components I used in the system, please refer to the video description. Since PBO FMAX Enhancer is an ASUS exclusive feature, it can only be toggled from Precision Boost Overdrive settings in AI Tweaker BIOS section, unlike the standard AMD overclocking settings, which can be found in the Advanced section. By the way, PBO FMAX Enhancer apparently did its thing no matter if Precision Boost Overdrive was enabled or disabled. I was a bit surprised to learn there was too little information out in the wild about PBO FMAX Enhancer feature. Ok, there is this article by The Stilt, the creator of this feature, on Overclock.net forum, but he only speaks of Zen 2 CPUs that is Ryzen 3000 series. The only mention of performance deterioration is related to so-called LC settings, so I tested multiple of those but they basically made no difference whatsoever. Bottom line, don't enable innocent looking features without proper validation and testing. And if you happen to have PBO FMAX Enhancer enabled on your Ryzen 5000 CPU, you better turn it off right now. Cheers and over.